Samaria Dresco, and I would like to read my new original piece called Rose Lit. Tristan Moore was very depressed, extremely depressed. He was a good guy, a good student, and cared for his family. He was never popular, but he liked reading books and writing poems, but it seemed to be over. It was the end of the world for Tristan. He felt that he had nothing to do since his cousin John passed away one summer day. John was a gifted writer and Tristan admired him. Both were straight-A students in high school and bonded with their families over the arts, including literature. John began to feel sick and he kept his ba illness battle a secret until the end. It was two years ago. After he graduated from Hilton University, Tristan seemed to feel good. He published a poem for a local magazine called Rose Lit Magazine. Everything went well until the COVID pandemic affected his town. John was one of the people to succumb to COVID-19, a form of a heart attack that day. Tristan was heartbroken and sad after attending John's funeral. For the next two years, Tristan shut himself out in his apartment. He coped with his sadness by reading and listening to classical music. Tristan continued his writing, but nothing he wrote was good enough. He wanted to give up, but he couldn't. He needed to slow down. He continued to cope. Tristan's sadness had made it, made it impossible to write good. At the library, Tristan went to check out more books before he ran home. He went back to his apartment through bus to continue his sad stupor, until one of his fellow classmates saw him. Ramona Archer, a fellow college graduate at Hilton, saw Tristan's pain. She was sitting across him in a bus. She had Tristan in her drawing class, but she doesn't know him personally. Ramona sees Tristan as a happy person, but now she saw him changing into a sad person. She wanted to talk to him, but she felt that she needed, he needed to be alone, thinking that he was antisocial. When Tristan recognized Ramona, he sees her walking home dejected. Tristan saw her in class, but he didn't notice her at the time. Tristan wanted to get to know her better. The next day, Tristan went to the park to write a new poem for, for Rose Lit. However, he couldn't concentrate on it. He kept thinking about John's death. His mind was clouded with grief until Ramona came to meet him. Hi, Ramona said. Hi, Tristan greeted back. Are you from Hilton? Yes, I went there to be a writer like my cousin. Unfortunately, he died two years ago. I haven't left my apartment except at a library. Tristan and Ramona sat down and bonded over their love of books and writing. As Tristan began to be open on why his writing is never good and about his cousin, Ramona felt his pain. I'm sorry for your loss. I understand. I have a friend who loved books. We love books. However, she was diagnosed with cancer. She battled and lost, Ramona explained. I used art to help me with my grief. I also helped with my father's boxing gym to get by. My father, who is a retired boxer, is now a boxing coach. He encouraged me to do something great, even if it means pleasing God. Tristan was intrigued by her goal. But he wasn't sure. At least you have a goal for God. I wanted to be good, but I wasn't good enough to be a writer. Tristan felt uncertain. I'm working on a new poem, but it won't matter now. Don't give up, Tristan. God gave us amazing gifts to do and to use to do wonderful things for him. I'm sorry for your loss, but it's never over. Ramona advised. That's true. God is always good. But what if I feel trouble? Tristan asked. 
then and turned to God in prayer. Tristan held Ramona's hands and began to pray. Dear God, can you please restore me? I feel very sad and left the gift you gave me. Please heal me. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Tristan begins to listen to God who healed him. He started from scratch by practicing his writing craft before polishing his poem. Tristan felt like that only God can see how good his writing has as he published his new poem dedicated to his late cousin. Tristan was restored. He took a chance to counter to see what wonderful things God has done. God is like a gardener. Tristan is the rose ready to bloom from the darkness. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed my, my story. God bless you and have a great day.